We stopped by Kicker's booth at CES 2016 to check out all of their kick-ass car audio products. See what I did there? Oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Let's begin with what's new, starting with subs. Kicker revealed their Comp VR and Comp VT subwoofers. Both have great, sleek designs and both provide a large bang for your buck. The Comp VR gives you distortion-free bass with a stamped steel basket and high temperature voice coils. The Comp VT is the slim version of the VR and features a special four-layer voice coil, allowing it to provide big bass without a big box. Kicker completely redesigned their Comp R and Comp RT shallow subwoofers from front to back. And let me tell you, they look pretty great in person. The Comp R has a new motor, cone, stitching, and spider for superior control at high excursion. The Comp RT has more motor and a redesigned cone and suspension for outstanding accuracy and delivers that true kicker bass. Kicker also got rid of the impedance switch and went back to push terminals. They also created new subwoofer enclosures for their Comp R and Comp RT subwoofers. The Comp R enclosure has a new port design with up to a 10 dB increase in performance, while the Comp RT enclosure has a passive radiator to outperform sealed or vented enclosures. They also revealed their SC substation, which is a powered subwoofer enclosure. The brand new CX series mono and full range class D amplifiers caught our eye in a big way. These amps feature kick EQ bass boost, efficient heat sinks, FIT inputs, and use optimized circuit layouts and the highest grade internal components available to reach massive power levels. The CX mono amps go up to 1800 watts of power, while the full range CX amps go up to 600 watts of power. That's it for new, now let's go say hi to our old friends. Kicker showed off their big boy L7 subwoofers all over the booth. Their square design offers 20% more surface area than a typical round sub. They feature an oversized magnet and aluminum voice coil for more power and are available from 8 inches to 15 inches. Kicker had one taken apart so we could see what makes this subwoofer such a beast. Alright, let's get technical real quick. Right here we can see the voice coil magnet of the L7. These combine to produce pressure waves, which is basically sound. The spider is massive and flexible. The top plate concentrates the magnetic force into a smaller area. The tinsel leads transfer the output of the amplifier to the voice coils, which connects to our amp with speaker wire. The structure is held together by the basket, and the kicker uniplate combines everything into one compact unit. You can see just how much larger the rubber surround is compared to most conventional subwoofers. Kicker also set up 16 L7 QB8 8 inch subwoofer enclosures and created a wall of bass. Listen for yourself. Kicker also had their Comp VX subwoofers on display with solo cone reinforcement, high temperature voice coils, and oversized suspension. Kicker's popular CS line of speakers was on full display, including component, coaxial, and three way speakers tweeters, and full component systems. The CS line uses polypropylene cones with tough ribbed and UV treated surrounds for precise sound and durability. Their Comp S single voice coil subs and Comp D bass heavy subwoofers also made an appearance. There was a great setup for Kicker's top of the line KS speakers, tweeters, and remotes, and their best performing IQ amplifiers, which include tweak tuning software. Kicker's KS line of speakers are smooth and accurate thanks to heavy duty motor structures, silk dome tweeters, and extended voice coil technology. That's it for all the car audio on Kicker's booth. If you hated this video, go ahead and dislike it. But if you enjoyed it, click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to enter our Kicker subwoofer giveaway contest. Click right here for rules. Thanks for watching.